and really happy that we have distinguished members of the Sinatra family here with us to celebrate. There's Amanda, who's Craig's granddaughter. Second granddaughter. Second granddaughter. Nancy Sinatra. Her mother. Tina Sinatra. Her aunt. And I'm Peter Fetterman, and here we are. So what do you think, guys? I mean, God knows how many venues you've been to, how many exhibitions you've seen. What do you think is special about this one? One, it's well done and beautiful. It's well done and beautiful. Yeah, and Thank I love you. the mix of Audrey and Frank. I think that's kind of... Kind Did they really know each swell. other at all? Oh, yes. They, they were good friends. I don't know how good they were in, in close in friendship, but I know they, he adored her. The great, great period of uh, Sinatra singing was, is, I think, the capital years. And here we have a wonderful photograph by uh, Sid Avery during one of the recordings at Capitol. And uh, we discovered a, a previously unpublished photo taken by the great English photographer Terry O'Neill. This was shot in London at the Royal Albert Hall. And you see Sinatra singing, actually, to the great love of his life, Ava Gardner. Whilst I was uh, finalizing the Sinatra exhibition earlier this year, we were asked to loan a, a photograph of Audrey Hepburn to a big show in London at the National Portrait Gallery that was honoring her. And then a little bell went off in my head and thought, hey, hey what, you know, why not do a Sinatra and Audrey Hepburn? Because uh, here again, growing up, loving movies, seeing movies like Roman Holiday, Breakfast at Tiffany's, The Nun Story, Robin and Marion. You know, every, every guy is in love with Audrey Hepburn, and uh, I suppose my inspiration was, okay, let's do both together. One of my favorites is this one, uh, taken by the great English photographer Norman Parkinson. 